Travis with T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. Today I'm revealing my top five go-to sample genres when I am going to create a sample-based beat. Some of these may be obvious to you, but I get a lot of questions about sample genres and what samples to use and all these kind of things. So I thought I would go back through my core sample folder, the exact samples that I've used over the past probably five, six, seven, eight years. It really kind of extrapolates some information as far as the genres that I'm using. Pass that along to you today. Hopefully offer some insight for those of you who have been asking. If you are just starting out and you're just getting your feet wet and you're trying to figure out some different genres that you may want to explore, hopefully this can help you or if you've already been making beats, at least just give you my perspective and the type of genres that I find myself picking from time and time again. So if you've been following me for any length of time, number one on this list has probably come as no surprise, soul R&B genres. You know, this can come in different forms. Typically the sounds I'm looking for spanning the decades of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and then even upwards into some more contemporary and modern style R&B. You're going to find that sweet spot in that 70s decade just because that's when you had the Motown era was strong. You just had a certain sound in that pocket. There are times where you can find that sound kind of in the late 60s and then also bled over into some of the early 80s. Something really unique about that 70s decade and you'll find it translated into other genres too outside of just soul and R&B. That's why you'll find a lot of sound based producers that go to that particular period just because there's a very distinct sound with the recording that you don't really find anywhere else. While I'm on the topic of soul and R&B and just finding samples in general. I want to give a tip. If you are doing traditional digging, you're going to the record shop and doing your crate digging, or you're doing online e-digging, and you find sound samples that you really like, that you're using, if you have one record and you found multiple sounds in that and you really like that sound, I would encourage you to make sure that you're reading the credits on those particular albums if you have access to that information, in particular the production credits. You're getting the actual vinyl, make sure you're flipping over, looking at the production credits, or if you just have the album and artist information, many times you can do a quick Google search and find that information online. Next up on my list of go-to genres that I find myself sampling time and time again, this isn't necessarily in one particular genre, but international records in general. I found a lot of really great stuff in soul and rock from Germany or Russia. Spain has that really distinct sound. There's a lot of really great melodies and riffs and a lot of Spanish samples that I found. Asian samples, I have a number of Japanese records that I flipped. And again, a lot of those are coming from that, again, that 70s decade. When you are digging, whether you're at a record shop or you're doing e-digging online, just don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid if you come across something that looks a little unusual or different. There's been many times where I've just grabbed some kind of abstract looking records and found some really amazing sounds in there. My next genre, if you want to consider this a genre, is library music. TV and movie soundtracks. Generally speaking with library music, it is a pool of various songs that musicians and instrumentalists have come in and created specifically for that music pool. And some of those tracks would get featured in various movies and film. As far as I know, they're a little more rare and harder to come by. But if you can come across some of these library samples, it'd be something that maybe hasn't been sampled as much, give you something a little more unique. And then just movie soundtracks in general that can span multiple genres, multiple decades. One of the other genres that I found myself going to a Lot was rock and progressive rock. There's so many different variations coming from different places across the world and many times it's just hours and hours of digging to find that one little gem. Sometimes progressive rock tracks is another thing too. The track might start out one way it may be slow or fast paced and then almost like transitions into different movements as the track progresses along so you might listen to it at the beginning like ah, a lot of people will just skip and go into the next record but sometimes with those prog rock samples you have to really pay attention because there might be something that comes to that four minute mark that is really crazy and totally different than what you heard at the beginning. So that's a tip if you do dig into that genre, just make sure that you're paying attention, that you're really thoroughly listening to those records. And then the last genre I have, and this I think this is an underrated genre as far as sampling is concerned, and it's classical music. Within classical, there's so many different time periods. You've got medieval sounding music that transitioned into Baroque, and you've got like harpsichord. You've got the actual classical period music, romantic, more big sounding orchestral music, and then digging into each of the subgenres and, and all the different periods. There's a mass amount of music out there that I feel like is untouched. And then just as a bonus, just basically cross over in experimental music. Some stuff doesn't fit in a set mold, in a set genre. There's a lot of great music out there that incorporates rock and soul and jazz and kind of fuses it all together into one. And in the meantime, you can find some gems in these crossover genres. So definitely gotta, gotta explore, gotta put the work in, you gotta take time out. Sometimes it takes 
setting a day aside and going through records, going through albums, and take note of the ones that, that you liked. Again, going back to the credits, figuring out more that I was gonna educate you a little bit more to explore, figure out what other music that you might wanna look into. And this isn't it, of course, you've got jazz, you've got blues, you've got countless other types of music out there that's been sampled. So you gotta figure out what sounds are gonna work best for you and your style and your preference and the style of beats that you're working on. But if you're struggling with where to start or some additional sounds that you may be interested in, hopefully this list can help you. But that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hopefully this was helpful in some way. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel for more producer and artist tip videos, beat making videos, instrumentals, marketing videos, the list goes on. There'll be a link in the description for sample packs and sound kits that you can download instantly off the website. As always, you can connect with me on social media. All that information will be in the description as well as my contact. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.